Thanks for tuning in to another Mr. Sanamon Movie Review. As you no doubt know, we'll be talking about Hotel Transylvania today. Hotel Transylvania, produced by Sony Pictures Animation and directed by Gendy Tartakovsky and its stars... Wait. Gendy? Really? That's who they got for this? I, I wouldn't have never pinned him for this. I mean, I actually found this one out a while after watching the movie. Rather a bit different than what he normally does. The film stars Adam Sandler as uh, Dracula, Andy Samberg hold up as in Lonely Island and Andy Samberg. Yep, that one. He voices Jonathan, a human boy hipster guy. Selena Gomez as Mavis. This just keeps getting weirder. She's the voice of Dracula's daughter, Steve Buscemi as Wayne the werewolf, probably the funniest role in the whole movie, David Spade as Griffin, and CeeLo Green as Murray the Mummy. He gets a nice song in there, sadly. Adam Sandler's daughter and wife also make brief appearances in this film. Anyway, down to business. And before we start, I have one complaint that must be addressed up front right here and now. Dracula Nye Adam Sandler has a rap during the movie. Not to mention the other various pop culture references that seem rather jammed in. Now that that disclaimer is out of the way, I'll start going down by category, animation. It's really not bad. The environments look great, and the monsters are full of life and uh, personality uh, visually, and it pulls the other parts of the film together well. I have one teensy complaint. I did not like adult Mavis's facial proportions that were wide and angular, and for some reason they bothered me. In fact, on that subject, the bodies were all nice, but all the human faces were just a little too much. I mean... Even for me, you know, I liked the animation, but it, with the faces I just didn't really like too much. Now, to voice work. Hell, with the cast, it was be it better be good, I mean, obviously. They got some big names in it. And, and, and guess what? It was! I mean, even if I had a hard time identifying the talent in some of the places, it was a great... In fact, I think that not being able to tell the voices were uh, who they were. It's a bit of a good thing. It's a you know fresh pace. You know you can always tell who's doing what uh, in um, animation. In fact, the uh, um, musical component uh, and the singing was the low point of the voice acting for me. Not necessarily who done it. Um, even with Sila, I mean, I, I understand he's very good, but he did not make the songs any better. Trust me. Well. On the music, well, aside from the popish rapping thing near the end and the hipster guitar jam around the middle, all the rest of the music felt good, thematic, and appropriate. Hell, even the pop numbers were appropriate. I just didn't like them. Then the writing it worked for me. It kept me laughing, and the romance, the characters, and the relationships portrayed never really broke any paradigms, but they worked and I enjoyed how it all fit together. Though a few of the jokes were a few of the jokes were pretty immature and it may be a bit boring and predictable for the adult audience. I think it works for kids and most adults that aren't expecting too much will find it entertaining. I see this one getting fairly mixed reviews and yes, I stick mostly on the positive, but I did enjoy it. Uh I it didn't exactly live up to my expectations, so I expected a bit more from it. And, I mean, yes, it was funny, and it wasn't a bad movie, but if you like movies that make you think, find a different one. My final word, if you're going to watch it with your kid, or just want a few cheap laughs, have a look, but don't expect anything too deep. And, thanks for watching, uh, if you enjoyed my review, feel free to like and subscribe. Or you could just watch it for the twilight joke near the end. Let's go with that. This is how we're represented. Unbelievable. Jonathan. <laughs>